good morning students how are you all i wish all of you are good at home once again welcome back to the computer class after your first terminal examination i hope that all of you have done well in your examinations so today we are going to start with the practicals of sql structured query language so for this we will use mysql to open it go to the start button and here we will find mysql click here and under the mysql server we will select command line client so double click here it will ask for the password so this is the password which we have set during its installation so in my case it is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so so interface of the mysql is similar to the interface of the dos disk operating system so here we will see how we can create a database and tables and various queries so mysql is a open source relational database management system open source means its source code is available for the peoples under license and they can modify it use it change it and distribute the source code of mysql so it means it is a open source software so the first command which we are going to use is show now we will see how many databases are there in mysql so we will use this command show data bases the every command in mysql will terminate with semicolon and also the syntax or the wording which we are using in mysql queries is case insensitive it does not differentiate between the lower case and upper case letters okay so it is up to us whether we are using it upper case or in lower case so here show database so it will give us the result as all the databases which are already in mysql press the enter key so here you can see there are four databases these databases are inbuilt databases information schema mysql performance schema system now we will create our own database and for this we will use create command so create is a data definition language command so the syntax is create database and now we will write the name of the database so it is a identifier we can give any name to the database so here i am using sbs create database sbs sbs is the name of the database and create and database they are the keywords semicolon now press the enter key now query okay one row affected now again we will see show data this is so here you can see the name of the database sbs once 
once we have created the database so in this to use this database we will make the use of use command so we will write use name of the database sps now whatever we will do that will be done in this database sbs so here we will create a table first for this we will write create table name of the table student open bracket here we will write the various columns and their data types which we want to add in the table student so first is roll number so obviously its data type will be integer comma after that second column name its data type is varchar of length 20 comma third column it is gender and its data type is care of length 1 and in the last marks so integer of length 10 so this is our last column so here we will not put comma just closing bracket and after that semicolon so in your book there are many data types so go through all these data types for example integer boolean char var char date time so all these are data types so go through these data types so closing bracket semicolon press the enter key so query okay zero rows affected so here you can see we have created a table and to see the structure of the table we will make the use of describe command and for this we will write describe name of the table student so it will show us the various columns and their data types their default va default values etc mean the structure of the table so in this student table these are the fields means our column names these are their data types and whether we can enter the null values for these columns because we have not created any prem key so we can insert null value in roll number column also okay because we have not created the prem key so any value can be added to any column so their default values is null okay now we will insert the values in this table student we will insert one record and for this we will use insert into insert into values so we are going to insert values uh, in order in which we have created our columns so here we don't have the need to specify the column names we will write the values only insert into student means name of the table insert into student values so first value will be the roll number means numeric value second is a name so any string type values or character type values will be entered in single quote or double quote so i am writing name 
दिलजीत थर्ड वन इज जेंडर मेल आफ्टर दैट मार्क्स सो एटी फाइव ओके insert into name of the table values and here we will write the values in order in which we have created our columns one value will be assigned to roll number name buljeet will be assigned to the column name m to the gender and 85 to the marks insert into name of the table values and various values so if you want to see the data of the table then we will write we will write select star from table name select star from student so this command will show the data of the table so you can see our record which we have inserted using this command insert into values so this is our record so in this way we can add more records in now to delete a delete this table we will use drop table command and the syntax is drop table name of the table student so using this command drop drop table and name of the table by writing this we can delete any table okay so i hope you have understand this topic mean these commands how we can create a database how we can use it creating table inserting data into the table and deleting tables students if you have pc at home install mysql in your system and uh, do all these commands that's all for today next we will do in the next video thank you very much